Hi everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to create your own Astra Militarum officers, be it a platoon commander, a master of ordnance, and also a tank commander, which you'll see a bit later on. Uh, I think the key place to start is actually sourcing the, uh, the correct parts. Um, the key thing for officers, that will be the peak cap, which you can see that I painted red. So the Kearney and Command Squad kit from Games Workshop for £20 is a great place to start, purely because it gives you that company commander style figure there, uh, with the peak cap, and also the torso one there with the medals. There are others without medals as well. If you don't want to go and spend £20, you could just buy the, uh, the Command Squad heads themselves and affix it to standard torsos. Um, you can see there's quite a few people selling uh, bits and bobs here. Uh, but actually this offer here, which I bought something very similar for £5 and has the all-important peak cap there. Of course, you also could look at uh, other businesses such as Anvil Industries. Uh, they have a wide variety of uh, pieces that could be combined with Games Workshop uh, models. I personally don't want to use these because I want to one day play on tournaments, in tournaments, and they typically require 100% Games Workshop pieces. So for the platoon commander, you see obviously on the right there is the company commander straight from the, uh, the box set. Uh, but on the left is the chap I made myself. Uh, so the good thing about the Canadian Command Squad kit is it gives you uh, quite a lot of torsos, arms, um, and also heads. So basically these two models here come straight out of the, the kit. The one piece that is different obviously is the head on the chap on the right as it rotates around. That head is taken from the Hellhound kit. Um, I think it's great it's actually ruined the respirator because as you guys know, uh, guardsmen fight in all types of horrific in environments where it's very smelly or toxic. The one little piece I did change actually was his cap because the, uh, the model itself out of the box does look quite pointy at the front, a little bit like a pirate or maybe like a commissar. So you see I've actually rounded it off using a file to get a kind of a curvier finish on the front there. Okay, then the master ordnance. So just so you're aware, you can on Games Workshop buy a kit of, uh, I think they're called military advisors, uh, of which you actually get the master ordnance as a pre-made, I believe a lead model or metal model. However, I've just gone and made one myself. So basically what I've done is bought a basilisk kit. In that kit, as you guys will know, you also get uh, a standing chap uh, with the torso and also that arm raised up on the right. Um, what I then combined the rest of the, the parts with was actually, um, uh, left arm taken from Heaven Weapon Squad. I removed the uh, standard uh, shoulder protector on the left and then used a shoulder protector from the a Lehman Russ kit because it has that nice gold finish or that nice emblem of the, the reef and the skulls. And of course for the head, I've simply used another company commander head which I bought separately from the standard kit I bought. So a very simple illustration of the Master Ordnance. I know there's much more advanced versions out there, such as using Vox Casters, a Vox Caster or binoculars, but for the sake of uh, the game, I think this guy suffice. So a combination of the Basilisk kit, Company Commander head, uh, Lehman Russ uh, shoulder pad for the commander, and a spare arm from any support weapon kit. Okay, then Tank Commander. So this chap here is not the one I'm going to be showing you, but this is the, another model I've done. So that's using the standard head from the, uh, the Lemon Rust kit. I personally don't think he looks very Commander-like. He misses a peak cap. Um, he is good, but I think he could do a lot better. I think he personally looks like um, a chap out of uh, World War II and maybe the Soviet Army wearing those little rubber skull caps. Of course, not to disrespect those lads uh, doing their, their service for their country. But I think you do a lot better getting a more of a commander-like feel using um, some other parts. So what you'll see here now is what I've done. So it is using the torso from the Lehman Russ kit. Um, I think the right arm I actually took from, again, a Cadian support weapon squad. I actually removed the shoulder pad, fold it right back to give a smooth finish. Um, the left arm, I'm pretty confident, comes from the Lehman Russ kit as well to hold the pair of binoculars. But the actual head itself, that comes from the Basilisk kit. So the key thing, I think, for commanders, as I said before, is the peak cap. And that chap there with the peak cap and also the radio headset uh, going on to his uh, left uh, ear and also the, the mouthpiece as it comes around, I think it looks really good and really makes him look like a true little commander there. Um, so, yeah. Combination of using the standard torso from the kit, a arm 
from um, head weapon squad, removing the shoulder pad with a file, and then of course the left arm coming straight from the kit. I don't personally put on the shoulder pads that come in the kit. I think it would look a bit just too cumbersome because uh, you actually look at the dimensions of the, the turret versus this chap. It's already very snug. So I can't imagine having uh, shoulder protection on would actually make his life any more beneficial or comfortable. All right, so that's it. So hopefully some uh, inspiration for you guys to make a platoon commander or company commander, um, master ordnance, and a tank commander using various kits uh, that you accumulate as you build your Astra Militarum Imperial Guard Army for Warhammer 40,000.